Hey guys, how are we doing? Back on another video from Totally Not Mark, and today we have the worst, it's all in capitals, the worst, Dragon Ball Super Dub. Just get straight into it. Have you ever watched a dub that has made you want to die? <laughs> While perusing the what? internet one night, I made <laughs> I don't a think so. discovery that would change my life forever. One that would torment my nightmares and even make me think twice about my job as a YouTuber. Yeah. Today, I spent four hours watching this. Oh no. What are you going on about, Beerus? <laughs> hey. You didn't do so badly, you know. What? Whoa. Now, some of you out there what? might be wondering, why? Why, TNM? Why would you knowingly subject yourself to this wet fart of a dub? And in truth, I, I don't know. But one thing is for sure, I did it. And because of that, today I am going to review... <sighs> Bang Zoom Entertainment's English dub for Dragon Ball Super. Bang Zoom, okay. So, the wonderful people? Over at Bangs of Entertainment, we're tasked with crafting an English dub for India and Southeast Asia. Oh. I didn't know anything about them before jumping into this experience. But apparently they are a production studio based out of California. Huh. Now, when I looked more into it, these guys apparently had a long list of anime oh, wow, that's under a their belt. Big like list. Bizarre <gasps> Adventure, Kill a Kill, and yeah? Makoto Shinkai's 5 centimeters per second. Now, Ugh, I've never seen movie. any of these dubbed, but knowing that this dubbing company helped produce some English dubs for these shows... It gave me hope. Yeah. Hope that perhaps Funimation might have competition in the English dubbing department. I'm guessing that's not Needless the case considering say, the title of the video. I was wrong. Ah. <laughs> this is easily what? one of the strangest interpretations of Super <laughs> I have ever Proper seen. Allowed. Now, the first thing you might oh, be wondering yeah. is, why do they sound so weird? Yeah. Why is the aspect ratio 3x4? Oh. Why is this happening? All of these are perfectly sane questions. To tell you the truth, finding this diarrhea abortion of a dub online was actually insanely difficult. Was it? Because I don't live in Asia, there's really nowhere for me to watch it. The only place that seemed to have the viewable files was a website called Toon Anime India. India. <laughs> oh my god. And whoever was recording and uploading these must have been recording off an old box TV or something. I honestly didn't even know Dragon Ball Super could play on something like that. Oh. And that's not all. On top of this patch job of a collection, there are episodes missing too. Four to be exact. I couldn't find the full episodes for two, three, six, and seven. Huh. Random, I know. But fret not, ladies and gentlemen, because the website says they are coming soon. It's adding it soon, yay. Look forward to that. Good. I'm sorry for rambling on about this setup for this, but it was so strange I felt like I needed to give context for this Southeast Asian English dub found on an Indian website recorded in 3 by 4 aspect ratio. So let's begin. Let's do this. Introducing the characters. As soon as episode one begins, we quickly realize that we are not in Kansas anymore. <laughs> this <laughs> is Lex Lang. And he has an interesting take on the character of Goku. Oh my god. Oh. Yes. This is what we're dealing with here. And I promise, it gets worse. Oh my god. Amused, confused, and a range of other adjectives. Yes. I ventured off to the internet once again. I figured that if it spat out this monstrosity, it must have some information on it too. Apparently, Lex Lang is a very accomplished voice actor. Oh. Or at least I would assume so, given the amount of credits I found under his name. Then, I saw it. Out of the corner of my eye. He was the voice actor for War Greybon from Digimon back in the 90s! Oh. I had literally no idea. So that's pretty cool. Doesn't explain the piss poor delivery, but it's pretty cool. <laughs> Damn! This is his first time working for Bang Zoom Entertainment, as far as I can discern. Yeah. But just so we know who's doing the voice, I'm gonna put Lex's handsome face right there for his performances. Yeah, that looks great. Oh yeah, another thing I forgot to mention about the production of this show yeah. is that the title cards, the beginning, and the ending are all the Japanese versions. Oh. They didn't get the necessary materials together to produce a title card of their own English version, like the Funimation dub did, oh. which just adds to the overall quality of this item. That's strange. On, the first voice you'll hear is the narrator, who's a 40-year-old that sounds so like good. a 20-year-old trying to sound like a 30-year-old. Our world once again balanced on the precipice of destruction. Considering the English Funimation dub and the Japanese original took similar approaches, no. I'm genuinely confused why they chose this voice for this role. Oh, and remember Funimation's Majin Buu? Oh no. Well, 
Imagine they took the most annoying aspects oh, no. of that character no, no, no. and screaming and made an entire voice based around that. Sounds insane, right? Why would they ever do that? Hey, I have I want food! And that's not where the strange voice choices end. No. Archie Fletcher's Beerus sounds like Pegasus from Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, really? His impression of Beerus, which is... interesting? Just kidding, it's shit. Oh, really? Hmm. This is your best. One or oh, two wow. of the actually Ooh, pretty good terrible script, of course. <laughs> get to that with the majority of the remaining being largely inoffensive for the most part but only if by inoffensive you meant terrible impressions of the Funimation cast get out I am still training you may tell my wife that I am not attending any absurd celebrations wow. it's honestly mind-blowing the sheer lack of effort and innovation that went into this production what minus one or two characters every one of them is in some way trying to copy the Funimation dub and yeah. those that aren't have such a lazy or embarrassing interpretation of their characters. The good. Believe it or not, I can actually see certain aspects of this dub being better than Funimations hmm. in specific ways to certain people. I am not one of those people, and I never will be, but there are moments where arguments can be made that they did a better job than Funimation with regards accuracy to the huh. original. Okay. You know, minus the terrible script and blah blah blah. Did I just give Bang Zoom Entertainment a compliment? Apparently. Oh, that actually hurt to say. Yeah. The voice of Bulma, Wendy Swan, is relatively harmless and I would consider quite good. This isn't her first time filling the role of Bulma either. Oh. Three decades ago, in the 80s, she voiced Bulma for the Harmony Gold dub of the original Dragon Ball. Oh, okay. Unfortunately, she also directed the voiceover for the Dragon Ball Evolution video. Yeah, right. However, the best performance in the first arc comes from Michael McConaughey, who voiced King Kai, the second and final individual to come from the original 1980s Harmony dub. Hmm. The personal a fan of Sean Schimmel's version of King Kai. However, it's clear that McConaughey produces a much more faithful interpretation of the Japanese character. Hmm. Too bad others didn't work out the same way. The bad. Where to begin? <laughs> oh, I know. Uh, it just... When did I... But wait, if I'm not a god anymore, why don't I feel any weaker? Hey, Beerus, what's oh, that's going on? terrible. What's going on here? Damn. Lex Lang's Goku is the... Fucking worse. Oh my god. There are so many instances where his reactions lines sound worse than a crappy school play. Hey, you didn't do so badly, you know. What? I mean, what? Come on, that cannot be the best take they had. How bad were these recording sessions? What was their house like? It's really big. Well, that's the only way her kill knows how to be. Okay. But. On a serious note, apparently Sean Schimmel even mentored him for the role, giving him advice on how to approach it. Oh my but god. But these are truly terrible takes. And not just that, the script is absolutely dreadful. The next clip I'm going to show you broke me. It literally broke me. Yeah. It's easily the weirdest choice this dub ever made for the first arc. Check it out. There's a new rule! No more headbutting, Goku! I bet it hurt though, didn't it? It did not! Oh yes it did! So After yes, seeing it that, did. I exclaimed, they gotta be fucking with me. Oh, because wow. that scene, as well as this entire production, is a joke. Aside from a few good performances here and there, this is easily one of the most incompetent English adaptations Dragon Ball has ever had. And I'm standing by that. Say what you want about the big green dub, but this Bang Zoom Entertainment bullshit reaches over 200 wow, million it. people across the world, which is fucking insane to me. They do know the internet is a thing, right? They could just, you know, watch the show and deride the script from the subtitles. Fan dubs of the series have done a more straightforward and faithful job. There are scenes in this production which would make you wonder if they've ever seen a single episode of Dragon Ball. They haven't watched it at all. You really want to see the fury of a Super Saiyan? Well then, here you go. I mean, wow. it's just embarrassing. This is an officially licensed dub of Dragon Ball Super. I'm speechless. I really don't think I've ever seen a more obnoxious interpretation of my favorite character. What, you think I can't tell when you're not going all out? So right through me. Called it! Oh but my this god. This end with Goku. Beerus is almost as bad. Some of their exchanges sound as though neither of them care about what they're doing. Maybe they knew how bad this was going and just decided to have some fun. Just like screw it. <laughs> I cringed so frequently during my first viewing of this dub that my face actually hurts. This dub literally hurt me. Physically. 
Conclusion. This is a dub that really no person living in the West... No, actually, no, scratch that. No living person should ever be forced to watch this. Its line delivery is strange, irregular, and wrong a lot of the time. It changes the motivations of characters as well as yeah. the original script and is despicably boring. However, while I think this is a fucking terrible English dub that borders on insulting the source material, there is something charming about it in an ironic way, I huh. suppose. What? <laughs> if you look past the fact <laughs> that this is the primary source for hundreds of millions of people. I ragged on a lot of different performances during this video, but make no mistake, no matter how good a voice actor is, if the script is bad, it's next to impossible to get anything good out of it. And given that the vast majority of the cast gave neutral to terrible performances, I'm guessing the direction was terrible also. As of writing this video, the dub has been cancelled. But the Resurrection oh. F arc of this is available in its entirety. So who knows, I might subject myself to that someday too for your amusement. As always, comments and ratings are you don't very have much to. appreciated, and I will see you guys next don't week. Do it. Happy holidays, and thank you so much for watching. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. That seems awful. Jesus. <laughs> Goku's voice is terrible. <sighs> right, well, anyway. <laughs> How much to say on that? Thank you guys very much for watching. What do you guys think of that? What do you guys think of this? Click like, subscribe if you already. Leave comments down below. Let me know what I should watch and discuss in future videos. I'll see you guys. It's all you guys. Next down.